good morning everyone myself dr n sivasanmugam assistant professor school of computer science tamil nadu open university chennai today we are going to see about memory memory management memory types in computer system what is memory memory is just like a human brain it is used to store data instruction computer memory is the storage space in the computer where data is to be processed and instruction required for the processing of or stored what are the instruction processed or stored in the memory next there are primarily three types of memory one is cache memory and another one is primary memory that is so called main memory and secondary memory that is external what is cache about cache memory cache is the very high speed semiconductor memory which can speed up the cpu it act as a buffer between the cpu and main memory it is used to hold those parts of data and programs which are most frequently used by the cpu the parts of data and programs are transferred from disk to cache memory by the operating system from where the cpu can access them the cache memory figure is shown in this figure and there are some advantages over the cache memory the advantages advantages are cache memory is faster than main memory that is primary memory it computes consumes less access time as compared to main memory it stores the program that can be executed within a short period of time it stores the data for temporary use and there are some disadvantages over this cache memory also the cache memory has limited capacity it is very very expensive then we move to the primary memory that is main memory primary memory holds only those data and instruction on which the computer is currently running uh, that is while power on this is a system while in the on state that is on state computer is on state the primary memory will holds the data and instructions it has a limited capacity and data is lost when power is switched off if you switch off the power now it will lose all the data stored in the primary memory that is main memory it is generally made up of semiconductor device these memories are not as fast as registers that is like cache memory it is not so fast the data and instruction required to be processed resides in the main memory it is divided into two sub categories that is the primary memory is divided into two types that is ram random access memory and ram read only memory the main characteristics of the main memory that is physical memory that is the primary memory is these are semiconductor memory it is known as main memory usually volatile memory it will erase the data while computer or system is switch off that is volatile data is lost in case power is switch off it is the working memory of the computer faster than the secondary memory that is you see this faster than the secondary memory the external memory the computer cannot run without primary memory next we see about the secondary memory what is secondary memory secondary memory also have as external memory that is non volatile memory it cannot be erased if power of a switch of for computer it will not carry it's a permanent storage devices you can carry that device to it is slower than the main memory it is very slow it depends upon the hard disk or whatever device you use it depends upon the device this is slow the fast will be slow and for process will be vary there are used these are used for storing data information permanently cpu directly does not access this memory 
instead they are accessed via input output routines that is cables or whatever it may be connectivities input output connectivities the content of secondary memory or the first transfer to the main memory and then the cpu can access it for example disk whatever the magnetic disk tape drive whatever it may be cd ram dvd pen drive hard disk whatever it may be storage devices there are some special characteristics to the secondary memory also these are magnetic and optical memories it is also known as backup memory it is a non volatile non volatile it will not be erased it's a permanent storage device data is permanently stored even if power is switched off it is used for storage of data in the computer computer may run without secondary memory without secondary memory computer we can operate the computer without secondary memory slower than it is slower than the primary memory that is main memory next we see the types of primary memory ram random access memory and rom or read only memory first we see the ram access memory it is an internal memory of cpu for storing data programs and program results it is a read write memory which stores data data until the machine is working well as soon as the machine is switched off data will be erased access time in random access memory is independent of the address so that is each storage location inside the memory is as easy to reach as other locations and takes the same amount of time data in the random access memory can be accessed randomly but it is very expensive ram 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 we can pulse ram random access memory is volatile it is erasable data stored in it is in it is lost when the switch off the when you switch off the computer that it will lose the data if there is any power failure it will lose data hence backup on uh, internet uninterrupted power supply that is ups is often used with computer ram is small both in terms of physical size and in the amount of data it holds the ram random access memory also have two different types that is static ram static ram read only read random access memory and dynamic read random access memory then we see what is static random access memory the word static indicates that memory retains it contains long as long as power is being supplied however data is lost when the power get down due to volatile nature sram that is static ram chip use a matrix of six transistor and no capacitor the transistor do not require power to prevent leakage so static ram need not be refreshed on the regular basis there is extra space in the matrix hence static ram uses more chips than dynamic ram for the same amount of storage space making the manufacturing cost higher static ram thus used as a cache memory and has very fast access there are some special characteristics to the static memory it is it will have long life because it is too costly and sensitive one it is so it will get have and move to the long life no need to refresh it's a fastest memory used as a cache memory it's large size expensive high power consumption next we see the dynamic memory what is dynamic unlike static ram must be continuously refreshed in order to maintain the to maintain or retain the data this is by placing the memory on the refreshed circuit that rewrites the data several hundreds times per second dynamic ram is used for most system memory as it is cheap and small all dynamic rams are made up of memory cells which are composed of one capacitor and one transistor these dynamic ram have some characteristics features that are short data lifetime needs to be refreshed continuously 
slower as compared to static RAM. Used as a RAM, smaller in size, less expensive, less current consumption, that is power consumption. It will consume less number of powers. And then we see about ROM, read only memory. The memory from which we can only read but cannot write on it. This type of memory is non-volatile. The information is stored permanently in such memory during manufacture. The ROM, ROM, read-only memory, stores such instructions that are required to start the computer. This operation is referred to bootstrap, or BIOS is boot, boot information, boot program, it was stored in the read-only memory, ROM. It's made of, it's a type of chip type of memory. Read-only memory chips are not only used in the computer, but also in other electronic items like washing machine, microwave, refrigerator, like that. The image is given in the slide. You can see the image. It's a chip type. It's pre-programmed chip used in the computer. Next, we see there are some types of ROM that is read only memory and their characters m rom masked rom the very first rom were hard wired device that contains a pre programmed set of data or instructions this kind of rom are known as masked rom which is so expensive that is not not it's not expensive this is not expensive the another type is p rom programmable read only memory Programmable read-only memory that can be modified only once by user. The user buys a blank PROM and enters the desired content using PROM program that is programmable read-only memory. Inside the PROM chip there are small fuses which are burnt open during programming. It can be programmed only once it cannot be changed. Next, E ROM, erasable and programmable read-only memory. Erasable read programmable read-only memory can be erased by exposing it to the ultraviolet light for a duration of up to 40 minutes. Usually, an erasable ROM, the eraser achieves this function. During programming, an electric charge is trapped in an insulated gate region. The charge is retained for more than 10 years because the charge has no leakage path. For erasing this charge, ultraviolet light is passes through the quartz crystal window LED lid. This exposure to the ultraviolet light dissipates the charge. During normal use, quartz lid is sealed with a sticker. Then EE prom, electrically erasable and programmable read-only memory. EE prom is programmed and erased electrically. It can be erased and reprogrammed about 10,000 times. We can erase and reprogram more than 10,000 times. Both erasing and programming, <coughs> both erasable erasing and programming take about 4 to 10 milliseconds. In EE prom, any In E program, any looks sensitive erasure program. E program can be erased electrically at a time rather than erasing entire chip. Hence, the E program reprogramming is flexible but slow. There are some advantages over the read only memory. The advantages are as follows. The e from read only memory is a non volatile in nature, cannot be accidentally changed. Cheaper than RAM, that is random access memory, easy to test, more reliable than RAM, static, do not require refreshing, content always known and can be verified. Next, we see some of the output devices. 
related to the memory output devices enable user to see and produce processed information by the computer we use output devices for example printer scanner display unit monitor like that this is these are the output devices that is monitor printer ram and the microphone keyboard input device permanent storage device disk device hard disk cd and these are the uh, output devices next cd ram it's an secondary storage devices the, this is a drive that plays CDs and read data that has been stored in the CD. And we have DVD also. In this, we can read write. In DVD, we can read write data. We can read and we can write also. Write the your own data with the help of DVD writer. This writer given in the figure is CD drive. This, uh, the DVD drive also looks like same. Next we see CD, compact disc. It's a storage device. It has both two types, a read-write CD and readable CD. This is an optical storage devices. We can write with the help of the head available in the CD drive. DVD drive also there. So read-write CD and read-only CD and read-write CD also available in the market. It's a permanent storage devices. You can carry the stored data from one place to another place. Then floppy disk. Nowadays we are not using this floppy disk. In the earlier days, floppy disk is used. Uh, different size also. There are three, 312 inches and 1.44 inches floppy disk was also available in the earlier stage. During the invention of the 90s, 98 and during 90s we used this. After 2000, we never uh, used this floppy disk. So this, uh, this is a removable device, floppy disk, when it in use. You can read, write information uh, to your Excel. Next, hard disk. Hard disk is used to store maximum data in the uh, computer. It is placed in the computer to store the data and we can carry uh, the data from one carry the devices from one place to another place. Uh, depend, uh, there are various sizes of hard disk also available. It starts from 512 GB and 1 TB and 500 GB like that. Whatever is depends based on the price and uh, uh, the storage space. Uh, hard disks are available in the market. We see then we see another output devices that is pen drive nowadays we use we carry pen drive everyone everyone is carrying pen drive to take the data from one place to another place pen drive is a portable memory device that uses solid state memory rather than magnetic field or laser to record data it is used it uses as a technology similar to ram random access memory except that it is non volatile it cannot be erased if power is off it is also called usb drive key drive or flash memory we can call it as flash memory pen drive scan disk like that we can call that next blu ray disk this is also one of the memory, secondary memory, that is external memory, we can carry wherever necessary. The Blu-ray disc is an optical storage media used to store high definition videos and other multimedia fields, filed. Blu-ray disc uses shorter wavelength, laser as compared to CD and DVD. In DVD and CD, we use the laser head to read and write data from the CD. The same way, in Blu-ray disc also, we use the uh, laser uh, wavelength to read and write data. This enables writing arm on the focus for tightly on the disc and hence packed in more data.
it can store more data a blu-ray disc can store up to 128 gb the gigabit data you can use high storage medium then we see about the latest thing that is cloud storage what is cloud storage cloud storage is a service that allows to save data on off-site storage system managed by third party and is made accessible by the web service api api means active page interface the storage devices Storage devices can be broadly classified into two categories that is block storage device, file storage devices. The block storage devices means the block storage devices offer raw storage to the client. These raw storage are partitioned to create volumes. File store device that is second, second one that is first one is block store device, second one is file store device. What is file store device means? It offers storage to the client in the form of files maintaining its own file system. This storage is in form of network attached storage, NAS, network attached storage. Thank you.